So every election year since 2008, there's a campaign in the science community called Sci Debate, where everyone in science begs the candidates to please, 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 please have a debate about all the issues that have to do with science. You know, just small issues like climate change, medical research, vaccines, NASA, GMOs, gun violence. Anyway, after almost a year of campaigning by the entire science profession, including a petition we asked you all to sign, it seems that we're not going to get the science debate we wanted. But that doesn't mean the candidates haven't commented on the science issues on the public record. So we've researched all their public statements and we bring you Hillary versus Trump on the big science issues. Trump hates Obamacare and says he will replace it, but he just hasn't said anything about how he will do it. There's no plans or anything. One thing to note is that most medical research funding is tied to Obamacare. So what medical research gets cut as part of this scrap Obamacare plan is anyone's guess. Trump has also sent some mixed messages when it comes to medical science. He's talked and tweeted many times about the now disproven link between vaccines and autism. If I were president, I would push for proper vaccinations, but would not allow one-time massive shots that a small child cannot take. Autism. He tweeted back in March 2014. And during the height of the Ebola crisis in 2014, he directly went against the Centers for Disease Control and the World Health Organization, the governing health authorities, when he went on a Twitter rant and said we should stop flights from affected countries. He warned that the plague will start and spread inside our borders. But Trump, however, is very supportive of his own Trump brand of medical research. Yes, he once owned a vitamin network, a network marketing company that sold vitamin supplements. The company got people to submit their urine for tests, and then the tests would be run to demonstrate what supplements they were lacking. And then Trump Vitamins would send a special supplement mix back to the people to get amazing health. Investigations found that Trump's network had never tested whether the theory worked and their products weren't submitted to the FDA. Hmm. Hillary wants to stick with Obamacare and has laid out a specific five and 10 point plan to boost Alzheimer's, autism, HIV, and AIDS research. In terms of vaccines, Hillary is with the scientific consensus, saying the earth is round, the sky is blue, and vaccines work. Love your poetry there, Hillary. Oh, and she hasn't launched any vitamin companies yet. Climate change. Trump does not believe that humans play a major role in climate change and has called global warming a hoax. Clinton supports the science on climate change, though we may squabble with her individual policy positions. Energy. While some of Trump's views on energy are pretty inconsistent, he said he doesn't like oil reliance, but then he supports fossil fuels? What the he does believe that both natural gas and nuclear power should be a part of America's energy equation. Great. The Democratic Party's track record on sustainable energy is, I guess, not great. They've given billions of dollars in kickbacks to oil and gas companies. Clinton herself appears modestly in favor of fracking, like pumping chemicals into the ground to get the gas. And the Democratic Party also supports exporting more gas, which means more fracking. NASA and space. Trump's never said what he would do in regards to NASA, but he did say that he'd like a private space program, maybe even better than a public space program, which either means he wants to pull public funding from NASA or give Richard Branson a run for his money. Hillary Clinton is pretty supportive of the space program and she's outlined leadership in space science as part of her plan to raise American incomes. She thinks that space exploration could be the next big win for the American economy. GMOs. Trump hasn't said a whole lot about GMOs, surprisingly, but what he has tweeted is a little disconcerting. When Ben Carson took a lead in the Iowa polls, Trump tweeted, hashtag Ben Carson is now leading the hashtag polls in hashtag Iowa. Too much hashtag Monsanto in the hashtag corn creates issues in the brain? Well, what the hell does he mean? Given that Monsanto is one of the biggest manufacturers of genetically modified foods, he's implying that GMOs cause brain damage, which is of course not supported by research or even basic biology. Hillary Clinton has expressed support for genetically modified organisms or GMOs. You go girl. She said that there's a big gap between what the facts are and what perceptions are. So it sounds like she understands GMO science at least a little bit, but she has 
has been supportive of letting states force GMO labels onto food, which just goes to show just because she understands the issue doesn't mean she's going to make evidence-based policy if elected. Now, this is not a comprehensive list. If we were to do a comprehensive list, this video would go on forever. And as always, we encourage you to do your own research, but we've provided all the source links in the description below. What do you guys think? Who's your favorite candidate on science issues? And are there any electoral science issues that concern you that we haven't mentioned here? It is election season after all, and we'd love to cover them. Let us know in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.